Hi students, welcome. In this video, we will study venturometer. In this, we will understand its general arrangement and specifications, its ideal discharge and actual discharge, then piezometric head difference, and its coefficient of discharge. Okay, so let's start. Here students, this is general arrangement of venturimeter and here in this, this portion is convergent, convergent portion of the venturimeter and this portion is divergent portion of the venturimeter and this is the throat, this part is throat, okay, and here this portion is this is our pipe as you can see here these these two are our pipes between these we have attached here venturimeter this is overall general arrangement of this venturimeter and you can see the pipe dimension is capital d and here throat dimension is a small d as you can see and here remember this this capital d that is is always equal to 1 1 1 upon 3 to 3 upon 4 into d that means here students this capital d is 1 upon 3 to 3 upon 4 times small d okay so here now see angle of convergence is here is equal to 15 to 20 degree okay that is angle of convergence that is this one this angle okay angle of convergence is 15 to 20 degree celsius sorry 15 to 20 degree and here angle of divergence okay angle of divergence means here this portion is 6 to 7 degree and it should not be greater than 7 degrees to avoid flow separation okay now see this diagram here in the venturi meter meter we have attached here manometer as you can see this is our manometer okay so here see in this this portion that is we, we there is this portion has a1 is our area of this portion okay and a2 is the throat area okay and uh, here this axis is uh, here manometric deflection okay and here in this case z1 is equal to z2 that is gravitational head difference is zero and as so here and as you can see this is q that is uh, discharge from this point flowing from in this direction as you can see and now see here and uh, remember uh, students uh, this uh, venture meter we use for measuring discharge okay now here see ideal discharge that is q ideal is given by it is equal to a1 a2 under root of 2 g h upon under root of a1 square minus a2 square here as you can see a1 is the area of this portion and a2 is the area, throat area that is this portion okay and here h is the piezometric head difference okay and it's small g is the acceleration due to gravity okay now see here this piezometric head difference is the is calculated by using this formula but here this this is piezometric head and here we have used Bernoulli's equation we will study this further in this part okay so here see this piezometric head difference is p1 upon rho g minus sorry p1 upon rho g plus z1 minus p2 upon rho g plus z2 okay and see now this is Bernoulli's equation we will see now first Bernoulli's equation is given by here in this case we will consider here these two portions okay actually Bernoulli's equation is p upon rho g plus z plus v square upon 2g which is equal to constant so here we have two portions a1 and a2 
that is this portion and this portion this section 1 and section 1 section 2 you can consider here so this equation becomes here that is Bernoulli's equation becomes P1 upon rho g okay plus z1 plus v1 square upon 2g is equal to P2 upon rho g plus z2 plus v2 square upon 2g okay and here as you can see gravity as we have seen here this gravitational the head difference is equal uh, both are equal so these two terms gets cancel out z1 and z2 okay so we left with here remaining these terms so here we will rearrange this we will uh, take this in this side and this in this side so it becomes here now see p1 minus p2 upon rho g is equal to v2 square minus v1 square upon 2g okay here rho is the density okay students so now here see we had seen here piezometric head difference and see here in this Bernoulli's equation this term is called as piezometric head okay so here so in this this h is the piezometric head difference so here we have taken here p1 p1 upon rho g plus z1 minus p2 upon rho g plus z2 okay so these two gets cancel out here and p1 minus p2 upon rho g is equal to h so here as we have calculated here you can see this equation so here this this term is equal to this term so here p1 minus p2 upon rho g is equal to v2 square minus v1 square upon 2g which is equal to h okay that is piezometric head difference understood so we have got here the h term that is this term in this our actual discharge sorry in ideal discharge equation okay so now see here further this h we can also calculate by using here this manometer this arrangement that is manometer so here in this sm is relative density of manometric fluid and here this s is the relative density of the flowing fluid manometric fluid is here in this and flowing fluid means the um, uh, liquid which is flowing in the in the pipe portion and venture meter portion okay so now see here this piezometric head difference we can calculate that is h when sm is greater than s the formula will be x into bracket sm upon capital s minus 1 bracket closed and here this x is the manometric deflection as i i have told you before this is this difference okay this okay this one is our x okay now when here you can see below this when capital when s is greater than sm that is s means here as i have told you relative density of flowing fluid and sm is relative density of manometric fluid okay so when s is greater than sm then our h we can calculate by x into bracket 1 minus sm upon s okay see here again this in the our previous uh, explanation x is manometric deflection sm is relative density of manometric fluid s is relative density of flowing fluid so now here seen actual discharge okay q actual is given by cd into q ideal okay that is coefficient of q actual discharge is equal to coefficient of discharge into ideal discharge okay and for venture meter cd is equal to always see here in this range that is 0 0.97 to 0 0.99 okay in this range cd is in in the range of 0.97 to 0.99 okay now see this coefficient of discharge is given by 
under root of h minus h l upon h. Here this h we have calculated before which is piezometric head difference and h l is head loss in convergent divergent section. Okay. Now remember one thing here venturometer is used for measuring rates of flow in both incompressible and compressible fluids. So students in this video we have studied venturometer. Thank you students for watching this video. Like, share and comment for this video and subscribe my channel. Thank you.